Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yard room. All right, today is TGIFFW. So, TGIFFW, everybody. I'm gonna miss y'all next two days. But it'll be good to have a break. All right, let's get started, because I got a lot to talk about, and I ain't got but 30 minutes to do it in. <laughs> okay. This is my blanket I've been doing. With uh, Nancy at Nan's Next Knots, and sometimes Trish at Mama Swift. I will link both of them below. All right. Last week's pick, this, this is blanket number six, I think. Anyway, last week was week number 15, and the random number drawn was number one. Well, for number one, I had this color labeled. And I don't know what this color is. It's discontinued. It's, um, I know a Craft Smart from Michaels, but it was a long time ago, you know, when it was like Super Saver rough. And I do know that it is a pink coral rose multi. Yeah. But, like I said, it's a discontinued yarn. A lot of my yarns that I am doing for my blanket um, are discontinued yarns. Sorry. Okay, so that's it for that one. Now I'm going to put this big old sucker to bed. <laughs> that's pretty bad. It's a blanket. And I'm putting it to bed. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Whew. All right. Next order of business. Let's see. What I've been working on. I have not sewed in my ends. Because I just finished some of this last night. Like the cardigan. Okay. Remember I made that little bow? Well, I figured, well, it's already made. Why am I going to put a flower on there when I already have a bow? Plus, I'm going to make smaller bows in white. And I'm going to put them, well, I'm going to put them down the, the front right here. Probably just two. And then I'm going to make a chain loop on this side. Big enough to wrap around the bow. Just to cinch the jacket right there at the top. It can be open at the bottom because I think that's cute. But that's my baby cardigan and my headband. And with the, the bow, all I did was take the ends that I tied together to cinch it in the middle and I just cinched it tied around where I connected. That's it. Okay, and then there's my baby booties. Like I said, I have not sewed in any of my ends because I just finished last night. But now, little Lucy can stay warm. And this was all made with value yarn. And it is adorable. And it was all made with value yarn. This pink is Walmart Mainstay. Yeah. And the white for the headband and the booties. And I'm going to use to make the, the bows for the jacket. Um, that is 
uh, Big Twist Soft at Joann's. Yeah. So, you can do some amazing things with some value yarn. Don't sell that value yarn short. It's good yarn. It's come a long way from where it was. Alright, so let's put little Lucy up. Because now I want to talk about something that we're going to start the first of the year. Okay. Now, this ain't perfect because I just finished it. Sorry, I got a new fan. So, hopefully that in the background will be gone. I have a temperature chart. Now, I'm going to try to copy this over on my, my copier so that it ain't uh, just taped on to a piece of paper. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to copy this over from my copier onto a piece of paper. And I'm going to try to get it on my, um, my phone. So, if any of y'all want this chart, I'm going to try to put a picture of it in the community tab. Now, here's the thing about this chart. It says the Celsius and the Fahrenheit. Okay? Now, in my region, we're just going to go by the Fahrenheit. We don't do Celsius. But some of y'all might. So, I did Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now, in my region, it says that that color is for 40 to 46 degrees or below. Well, I might not be able to find that particular color. So, yeah, this is my chart. But that don't mean I'm going to go by the colors on this chart. It's like, that one right there? Well, that's a brownish orange. Well, I'm going to do an orange. And that one right below it? Well, that's going to be a quarrel. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find colors that match up with these colors as best as possible at Walmart. Because not everybody has got access to a Joann's, a Michael's, a Hobby Lobby, or an online order. Not everybody can do that. So, Make it your own. If you don't like the colors that I picked on my chart, you ain't gonna hurt my feelings none. Pick your own colors. Me and my daughter just talked about it. And, well, she ain't got a lot of money. Because she's buying her home. And she's a single parent. But, she wants to join along with this crochet alone. Okay? Well, from where she lives to where she works, there is no Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or Michael's. But there's Walmart. So, she's going to go to Walmart with my temperature guide here. She's going to pick colors that are easily accessible to her. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to get the exact colors that everybody else is getting. Mm -mm. Nope. That's the beauty of a temperature throw. Everybody's is supposed to be different. Everybody's. My daughter lives right, side, right next door to me. 
So if we did the exact same colors, we would have the exact same blanket. Well, it ain't supposed to be that way. <laughs> I want her blanket to be different from mine. Here's another beauty of it. I am going to do my temperature throw in a flat granny pattern. Row by row, just flat granny. And I'm going to do the high and the low once a week. Okay? If you want to do it in a chevron, do it in a chevron. If you want to do it in a corner to corner, do it in a corner to corner. If you want to do it in all single crochets, do it. It's your blanket. But I do want to suggest not telling you what to do. I'm just suggesting that your stitches are the height of a double crochet. Because if they're not at the end of the year, your blanket's going to be short. So if you're doing it in all single crochets, may I suggest you do two or three of the same color for the high and the low. Get what I'm saying? If not, leave me a message and I'll, I'll explain it better if I can. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try to put a picture of this chart on um, the community tab. I've been, I've been randomly trying to ask questions in there. So if you haven't checked out the community tab, do so. When you go onto my, um, my channel, there's little tabs up top. And no, uh, like say the first one says home. The second one says uh, videos. I think there's another one, and then I think the next one is playlist. And I've been putting my videos in playlists in case y'all want to follow along with my crochet logs. I love doing crochet logs. And uh, I think the one right after playlists is community. So check it out. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm gonna try. I don't know how that's going to work. All I've ever done in the community tab is words. So, but I'm going to try to put the picture on. Okay, so. At the beginning of the year. On Wednesdays. On my TGIFFWs. Is when we'll do the temperature blanket. The first color pick will be the high for that day. The second color pick will be the low for that day. And then next week, we'll do the high for that day on TGIFFW, and then the low for that day on TGIFFW. Okay, but I will only show my temperature blanket the first Wednesday of each month. Okay? Now, I'm going to post this also in the Facebook group because I want people in there to be able to join along as well. As many people as we can get in a crochet along, the better. I love it. <laughs> okay. Starting the first of the year on TGIFFW. I will also be hosting another blanket. And it's going to be called Val's Picks. 
and I'm going to randomly draw a number and whatever color you have assigned to that number, that will be the color that you crochet with. I'll get more into that later. Okay, we got to have a, um, a base color on that one and eight other colors. And I'll, I'll draw a random number right here every Wednesday till that blank gets done. And if it goes well, I might do another Val's Picks. All right, um, I'm working on some pretty interesting stuff for next week. I think um, we're probably going to start out with a dress. Um, I haven't decided yet because the part up here around the neck and the shoulders, that is your yoke. Okay. And I have not decided yet if I want a square yoke or if I want a rounded yoke. But it's going to be the yoke and it's going to be in a solid. No, like open lacy stitches. And then right around the bust is going to be solid. And then we're going to try to put a big open lacy ruffled skirt on it. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But we're going to try it. Alright, so. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. When you do, click on that bell that'll pop up beside of it. And tap that word all. That way you don't miss out on none of my videos. You will get a notification for every single one of them. If you have your notifications turned on properly. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Give us a thumbs up. And that, well, that, that is a like. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, my clothes... Are getting too big for me because I've been losing weight. So, sorry. Okay. The thumbs up and like, yeah. Okay. Share if you can or if you know how to your social media, um, your friends, your family, anybody that you think might like. Uh, let's see. Uh, leave me a comment. Um, let me know what you're looking for. If you don't want me to do a baby dress next week and you want me to do something else, let me know. Um, just let me know in time to where I can make preparations for it. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Yeah, don't let me know Saturday morning. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Woo. Sorry about that. We will meet you back here in the next one for another grand adventure. Right here in Falshorn Room. Love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. Do something nice for somebody. 
random acts of kindness. Let's stomp out the evil with random acts of kindness. Yep. Bye, y'all.